How's it going, my fuzzy family? My name is Panda Hub, and um, welcome to a game called Tokyo Drop. It was actually made by um, someone that I had contacted on Twitter, um, and the creator. Um, and if you're interested in trying to find the game, it's actually on Google Play under Tokyo Drop. Um, there are some stuff that they are working out and they're trying to make it a little bit differently. Um, I do have the gameplay currently established on the, uh, on the video here right now. I didn't add any of the music just because of the fact that I wanted to make sure that I didn't get hit with any type of copyright. Um, and of course this was before I found out that, uh, you know, the creator had tied all of the music that he made to the actual game itself with links to the YouTube channel where the music comes from. Um, now, basically what it is, is it's a, it's a falling slasher game, but the way that it, the way that it works is that you move by actually moving your phone. And of course it's hard to see on the phone screen itself, but the way that you move is by moving your phone. It uses the sensors in your phone to be able to move your character. Now when you need to attack, I believe if I remember correctly, you tap the screen and that's how you're able to, <clears throat> that's how you're able to use your attacks. Now. The big red button in the center, um, you know, basically is uh, like super abilities. And then, of course, you have the different bosses and monsters and stuff where, uh, you know, like one of them is, um, you know, you've got rockets and mines. And, of course, you have this guy that, you know, grabs you from behind and stuff or you have to attack from behind but he grabs you if if you aren't able to dodge him which I had a pain in the ass time doing um, especially after doing the whole tutorial um, but the game itself is you know for a guy who's first time doing a game design and who is still trying to figure out the mechanics and trying to figure out the the whole layout for the levels and just uh, just the whole functionality of the game he did a really good job you know I thought he did a really really good job um, I think if I remember correctly his name is dark red um, let me let me just find out really fast yeah dark red um, or dark reddit or at darkreddit uh, on Twitter, man, allergies. But uh, you know, basically, it's just this hack and slash game. It's very fast paced. You go through the levels, try to get a high score of a distance for how far you drop. Um, I made a suggestion to him to maybe like add in when you end up finishing a certain level add to where the character lands on a platform and then jumps off to start the next level and uh, you know of course he's supposed to be some sor sort of hu superhuman and everything else like this and I have played a little bit after afterwards as well but you know it's it, it definitely is a fun game I I personally think it's kind of interesting um, you know, it makes me curious as to how the the art style for the character is going to change as time goes on. Um, especially, you know, what type of updates that he's going to have. Oh, here's one of here's one of the powers um, that you'll end up coming across at some point. Um, uh, well. Previously speaking because I'm looking at the videos. I'm trying to talk to you guys um, and You know, oh and Of course, there's another power that you end up seeing But you know it it definitely is a fun game. I definitely found it kind of entertaining and enjoyable 
Um, you know, you've got your combos, you've got your means of, you know, just having a fun time if you're into, you know, slasher games. The movement, uh, the movement style is definitely unique. Um, I personally haven't played any games that required you to move your phone as, as it's going on and falling. Um, but I definitely can't wait to see more in the future. Oh, and um, another thing too is, of course, you've you've got the ability to shoot uh, things like ammo and such. But you know, completing the tutorial, you end up having the capability of going and you know doing the 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 starting level, the first level. I think I made it to like level two. Um, but I personally think that this game does need a little bit of support. Well, a lot of support, actually. Um, so if you guys are interested in trying to check out this game, uh, give it a rating, give it a review. Uh, let the creator know if you have any general ideas of what you would like to see in the game. Um, and I'm sure that he'd be willing to try and add something. Um, and I don't know if he plans on adding any other characters. It'd be kind of cool to see, you know, other people as characters or, you know, seeing, uh, you know, just different styles of, uh, or different aspects to the game. But anyways, this is all the time that I have for this episode today. If you liked it, please go ahead and hit that like button down below. Also, if you haven't joined the Fuzzy family yet, go ahead and please smack that paw. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, my fuzzy, fuzzy family.